First up is Wayne McGregor's Chroma, with music by Joby Talbot. The audience didn't mind though. They seem to have thoroughly enjoyed Chroma despite its modern style. Are you in the auditorium? Yeah. Is it a little hot in there? <laughs> yeah, it, it, they've all got fans in there, I'm not surprised. They loved it. It's a nice crowd though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you're not going to get a better audience than that. They love their ballet. For conductor Daniel Capps, the evening hasn't really started yet as Chroma was performed to a tape recording. But Michael can't resist pulling his leg. The orchestra sounded great in that. Yeah, is it right? Yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> That's Fabulous. a tape, isn't it? <laughs> oh, in that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd do right this afternoon. That sounded good. <laughs> Rupert Pennyfather's back injury has forced him to pull out of tonight's show and has meant that 45-year-old Jonathan Cope is coming out of retirement. <laughs> Guilt. No, 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 it's not, it's not. Good luck, I hope it goes well. We'll be watching, we'll be watching. Yeah. You're right back in it, Johnny. I'm right back in it. No. <laughs> Middling. <laughs> but quite excited. You're great, so... What happened to you, Rupert? You've got, um, you got some old man out of retirement. I know, well, I'm, I'm sure he loves it, you know, it's deep down inside. It's his favourite ballet, so I don't feel that bad, but... A bit of a back spasm, so... Yeah. You have him physio, or...? Hopefully do it tomorrow. Yeah? Tomorrow night. So. Alright, cool. Right. We'll see. Painkillers. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Is it a 
a summer month in the country. It is. <laughs> Based on Tegenev's play, A Month in the Country is a story of secret love in an age of strict manners and repressed emotions. Uh, the big lift just went wrong because I... Jonathan hasn't danced for two years, but he's been rehearsing all day. He'll have to rely on his experience to get him through. They loved it. Always a pleasure. They loved it. It's your third time you've done it today, isn't it? <laughs> Want another crack now? You see, it's addictive. <laughs> it's addictive. You always want to For Johnny, the performance is over, and he can go back into retirement. Even though the ballets were new to them, the audience has been very enthusiastic. The final part of the performance will be much more familiar. A series of highlights from the world's greatest classical ballets, each of them a rigorous test of technique, stamina and nerve. As Tamara said, Cuban audiences have seen the best dancers in the world doing these ballets for the last 50 years, so you really don't want to do it badly. In the moments before curtain up, everyone is completely focused. This is the climax of the gala night. The staff and dancers of the Royal Ballet have done all they can to make this evening perfect. What could possibly go wrong? The fucking generator's just gone off. No fucking way. Come on, Louis. Louis. We have an interpreter here, please. It seems that after working perfectly all day, the generator has failed. This could put the rest of the performance in doubt. I know, I can hear it, I know it's gone. Let's just take the cue down or let's just... He has to wait for the board to reboot. Every time the power goes off, they have to wait for their lighting board's computer to reboot. And the audience is waiting. Eric, Lewis, take it to 50 until we get it back, side, and then we can ease it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologise for the delay. This is due to an unforeseen technical problem. Please remain in your seats and we will continue as soon as possible. Thank you. The crew take action to save the show with a reduced lighting setup, but it's a delicate calculation. Here we go. Can we, we mustn't go above 80%.